Hello again. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this, which is the Skywatcher SinScan GPS unit. Now, first, of all, let's just take a look at what's in the box. Well, obviously, we've got the, the GPS sensor itself, uh, which is quite a neat little device. Uh, often they're called a dongle or a GPS mouse because they just look like a small mouse. Uh, this particular one's got a magnet on the bottom so that you can stick it somewhere convenient. Um, the lead on it is quite a long lead and fairly flexible and that terminates in a multi-pin DIN type connector and we'll explain why. Because in the box you also get two different adapters. One is a DIN connector to an RJ type connector that allows you to connect the GPS unit directly to your SynScan controller. The other one is a USB converter which allows you then to use the, the GPS mouse directly with a laptop or a PC and um, so you can use it actually with various pieces of software it's not actually limited to, to using to get your coordinates and timing for your mount. Uh, also in the box we get a mini CD now this has the manual on there it also has some software for putting on your laptop or your computer so to use the the dongle independently uh, as well as the drivers for the device so let's have a look at it in operation right so first let's take a look at PC mode which means that we've got the USB adapter connected and we've plugged the GPS mouse into a PC and if you launch the software that comes on the disc which is called PG viewer you'll firstly be presented with this screen now what we've got to do is just set the COM port so all you do is go into device manager have a look under ports and you'll see the port listed in my case it's COM8 so we just click on COM8 and click scan as you can see it's found the the mouse there so the next thing that we do is click on view that will show us like a radar and we can go to a larger view like so now there's a lot of settings in here that you don't really need to concern yourself with straight away you know it'll it'll come at a later point or you might actually find there's another piece of software that you prefer uh, to use with your dongle now as you can see it's actually locked on to four satellites at the moment and it's now starting to read out the latitude and longitude to where I am now as far as the altitude's concerned don't worry about it because GPS is actually not very good at discovering what your altitude is. Uh, at the moment that's telling me that I'm at minus 16 when in actual fact I'm actually about 234 metres above sea level where I live. Um, so you know that's just in, in the PC mode. As I said you can find possibly a, another piece of software that you prefer or a, even a sat nav type programme that you can use this mouse with um, you know, and use it on a laptop or a PDA in your car. Uh, etc. Uh, yeah I know that there's Bluetooth versions about but if you're going to buy one for your telescope then you might as well just get the you know the dual use out of it. So next let's just take a look at it connected to the SynScan handset. Right next connecting up to your SynScan handset. Now obviously under normal circumstances you'd have your EQ mount and I obviously haven't got one in here so we're going to use sort of an independent power supply just to power everything up and show you. Uh, now also something to bear in mind is that the, the GPS unit will only work with firmware version 3.10 or higher so if you're not at that firmware version then you're going to need to flash your handset and if you've got one of the old handsets that isn't firmware flashable then you know in that case I'm, unfortunately you're going to be out of luck so the first thing that you need to do is actually connect the GPS to your handset before you power up so that plugs into the middle socket of your of your SynScan handset next we power up like so obviously you would normally do that by connecting to your, your EQ mount and switching your EQ mount on now the first screen that you see is just a normal screen that you would expect to see with your SynScan which is setting your time zone. So once the time zone's set then you get the next screen which is the daylight saving setting whether you're in daylight saving time or not. Once you've done that now you'll get a new screen that will start to flash that says GPS fixing. Now on first use this can take up to sort of half an hour. Um, it's the same when you first connect to a PC using the software 
don't get the impression that the, the GPS is broken. The first time that it's used either with a SIN scan or with a PC, it actually takes quite a while to just set itself up and discover what part of the world you're in and where your satellites are and to actually lock on. Subsequent uses after that are usually quite fast. Uh, that is of course unless you've left it unplugged for quite a length of time. So don't worry about it if you don't get fixes straight away, just sit and wait for it to happen. And what we're going to do next is just hang on for this to acquire the settings and we'll come back. Right, so once we've acquired our GPS signal, the SIN scan now has automatically locked in the date and the time and your latitude and longitude and that will update if you move, you know, wherever. If you've got a, a dark site that you go to or you take your scope to relatives or star parties or anything, the same thing, it'll take a couple of minutes just to lock onto the GPS signal and once it does all that information is put in for you, it saves you having to sort of search about on the internet for various coordinates and lats and longs and everything. Uh, and then another really cool feature is that if you press the utility button on your SynScan controller, you have a GPS menu set up. And what you can do is once you're in the GPS and click enter, it'll actually pull information from the GPS sensor and you can read all sorts of information like how many satellites it's got and you know the, the accurate times there. Um, and your latitude and longitude if you want to double check it and just various other settings that you know if you're interested in that sort of thing you know it all works there's quite a bit of information in there so what's the conclusion well the UV itself is actually very well built and it's nicely presented in the box the manual again for Skywatcher uh, unusually it's actually a very good manual and it does talk you through it uh, there are a couple of modes that you just have to change whether you're in uh, PC mode or whether you're in sin scan mode and again that's it, you just walk through it there's there's no setup issues whatsoever um, you know everything's nice and clear now the thing is the price point they are quite expensive the sin scan GPS um, but the only thing is that it's the only one that I know of that will actually work with a sin scan unit uh, you know it's all well and good finding a cheap GPS dongle um, but they'll only work with your PC whereas this works with both so is it worth having well it depends if you're always at home and you never change your location then you know it, it makes a good toy and that's about it and it you know you'll use it a few times and probably lose interest but if you're a person who goes to star parties or like i say travels about quite a bit and some people even take the scopes on holiday and everything then it's a very good addition to your, your armory for your, for your mount if you've got a sin scan system or even if you use a laptop and that's about it covered i think for this one so once again thanks for watching